they deserve it. Angry farmers in Delta State takes the law into their hands. You can't believe what has just been done to the farmers of recent. There has been an outcry from different regions of this country over the incident clash between farmers and herders grazing their cattle in people's farms. This has over time heated insecurity in the country as the clashes always result in the maiming and killing of farmers by the herders who are more equipped with weapons they use to protect their cattle. Today, March 25th, a myriad of farmers comprising mostly elders of women and men from Abraka and Obiaroko in Delta State trooped out in the early hour of the morning to stage a protest, calling on the attention of the governor over the incessant killing that has been going on in the region, which has made them desert their farms. In the video and photos posted by a popular Facebook and Sapele Times, the women who mounted a roadblock at the cause of the protest could be seen brandishing placards with different inscription on them calling on the governor of delta state his excellency governor ifani okonwa to intervene on the matter that is already getting out of hand they were equally voicing out their anger as they mounted roadblock along abraka Benin road and abraka agbo expressway stating that most of them have not been able to visit their farms for over a year now for the fear of being attacked by the herders. The menace of headsmen attacking farmers on the farm has quite lingered in different parts of the country and has been one of the major security challenges the people are facing with today. We hope that this agitation from farmers in different parts of this country will herald immediate action by the government in tackling this long harbor challenge in the country providing a convenient atmosphere for our farmers whose farms have long turned into thick forest to go back to their farms and earn a living through their farms produce thank you for listening to this news i think these farmers are now going back to their old ways that's what I see. And if nothing is done about it very fast, you may be surprised at what you will see them doing. Yeah, I'm telling you, you may be surprised. And that is why something needs to be done about it. You see, um, concerning the Delta people saying that there is need for the governor define your coma coming for immediate intervention <laughs> my dear i would say that that could be difficult somehow yes that could be difficult because um the nigerian that i know is not people that wants need really need to rely on you don't need to rely on nigeria no you don't need to rely on nigeria because when you rely on nigeria you will be disappointed most especially southeast states look at for example this is not the first time we have been experiencing um x-men attack and x-men killing and raping this is not the first time okay this is not the first time. Despite all that, despite all that, uh, Namdi Kano has been calling repeatedly, has been calling on the South East governors. All the way Namdi Kano has been calling them, how many of them have has been able to respond? I'm just saying this so that you will know that the call the south the, the delta women or obiaroko women 
or Abraka women are calling on Okoa is a waste of time. You people should protect yourself. Set up a community vigilante. Okay? Start securing your land yourself because I'm telling you that what Okoa is going to give to you people is an empty promise. Yes, it's an empty promise. You people have to do something very fast to save yourselves. If you really love yourselves. If you really want to save yourselves. Because things are happening every day. Things are happening every day. So that is why I am pleading that you all need to wake up and say no to this unnecessary because to me I tag it to be unnecessary. Alright? I tag it to be unnecessary. Okay, look at despite all that has been said, I got this is not the this is not the, the, the this incident happened three days ago. Am I right? In the, in Abraka. Where this woman cried out, raised alarm, called for intervention of the government and all that. Okay, since this thing happened three days ago, what has the police or soldiers been able to do? And from my own personal findings, that very area, Obiaruko, in Delta State, is very a very dangerous environment. What has been the what has the police been able to do to help cop out this? Menace that has been occurring in that area. What have they been able to do? Nothing. So that is why I am of the opinion that the government should wake up. The people should protect themselves. Don't wait. Don't wait. Delay is dangerous. Because I am telling you people, delay is dangerous. You cannot rely on them. They will disappoint you all right so um i don't know what's your take on all that i've just said right now do me free to leave your comment below the comment box click on the subscription button as well as bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you